It's a bullet count expected on a battlefield. You know, you hear boom, 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 boom. Dozens and dozens of rounds fly indiscriminately through the complex. Boom, 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 boom. But one shot stands above the rest. Just young people doing sisless things and hurt a four-year-old. It's just sad. This woman, who we're not identifying, says her four-year-old brother and an adult brother were both hit. We are just shook and trying to put pieces together and just praying that we get to the bottom of this and justice is served for all involved. City Heights was busy. Witnesses who didn't want to be identified say people were all over outside on the warm evening when the shooting broke out. And I started running. I mean, it was just too much. You know, you, you want to get out of gunfire. You know, you don't know if it's coming through the windows or if we're going to get hit while this is going on. Police have arrested Elmer Rice and Anton Kennedy, who was one of the three shot. Neighbors say two separate events led to the gunfight. The first was a domestic at 616 where shots were fired, but no one was hit. But a nearby car was hit. Neighbors say the owner of the car was upset. Hours later, he came back and argued with the people in 616 and the shooting broke out. It was right. scary. Now a four year old is paying the price for unrestrained tempers of adults around him. Now the four-year-old sister tells me he's doing better. They're hoping for a full recover, recovery. Candidate's been treated and released. He's been arrested. And the other victim is Brandon Rice. He's listed in serious condition here at UC Hospital. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.